Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we're going to talk about some Fenty Beauty makeup products. I've picked up a few items along the way. I've been testing them out. So I thought we could just do like a little chit chat. I would test them out here on camera and talk you through how I feel about them. So that's today's video. As always, I have my iced coffee here ready to go. So take a second, grab your iced coffee or your hot coffee. Let's have a sip and let's get started. So Fenty Beauty is Rihanna's makeup company. I'm sure you're all aware of that. And I think what was groundbreaking in a way is that she came out with so many different shades. She has such an inclusive shade range, which is funny because a lot of companies um, make up the excuse that having a large shade range is not profitable for them. And then Rihanna was like, mm -hmm, that's funny, I'll take your money. So one of the items that I picked up recently is a matte skin stick. So there are 20 shades available in the matte skin stick. And with these, you can use them as concealers, you could use them as something you could use them as contour or bronzer it really depends on the shade you pick I picked the shade mocha and all of the matchsticks are magnetized so when you put them close to each other they just click together like so which I am a really big fan of and also they have this really nice honeycomb um, pattern here so this one is in the shade mocha which to me is like my bronzer or contour so let's go ahead and just show you guys how it applies so I like to use it more of like a bronzer so I put it around here, around the temples, and one thing you'll notice right away is that these glide on so well. They are very creamy, but not like in a slick way, they're just very easy to apply. And then what I do is I go in with a, um, a wet sponge, and then I blend it out. And another thing that I really like about these is that they blend so well. Look, look how fast I blended. I barely tapped it, and it's gone. I've used different... Um, bronzer sticks or contour sticks whatever you want to call them and they don't always blend this fast so that is one layer of mocha and again i cannot reiterate how well this blends like you barely have to touch it and it blends so fast i find sometimes when it comes to contour and bronzing it looks very intimidating we're not, we're not exactly sure what we're doing but these sticks they just glide on so well and they blend really fast so you don't have to worry about having like a line of bronzer all over your face i think that's something that we all are worried about having you know you don't you, you don't want to walk around looking like you don't want to walk, blah, blah, blah. You don't want to walk around looking like a zebra and in my experience this has never happened with these matte sticks oh, i forgot to say um the matte skin sticks retail at 33 canadian plus tax so next up is a um blush i guess so this is the shimmer match stick so there's the matte one and then there's the shimmer one so in the shimmer ones uh, these are also 33 uh, canadian plus tax these you can use them as a highlighter or a blush you know or even eyeshadow i'm sure if you wanted to depending on the shade you want i think there's like maybe 10 shades available yeah 10 shades so you can use it again like a highlighter or a blush but i got the shade called radic which is like a nice peachy coral color and again i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what it looks like right now so there are multiple different ways to use a cream blush or a stick blush. You can apply it directly on the cheek. You can blend it out with a sponge or a brush. But I find that one of the easier ways to do it is to just take your blush brush and just sweep it into the product and then apply it here. Because sometimes if you just apply it directly, you might end up with too much product. And we don't want to have like, you know, clown faces. So um, I just prefer to go in with the brush just like very lightly and then just apply it on the cheek. And when you see Redick in the tube, it does look really intense. Like it looks like an orange, like it looks very bold. But as you can see, as you blend it out, it looks more just like a nice flush of color and oh, i have a nice little bristle that came off here wonderful i feel like the bristles always come out whenever i wash the brushes does that happen to you as well here we go and i don't know if you guys can oh another bristle wow okay hold on so if ever i have a bristle on my face um what i do is i take the end of a um eyebrow pencil and that just picks them up there we go I'll keep it on hand 
So not only does this blush have just a nice finish, but it has the nicest little luminosity. It does not look like a glitter chunk. It does not look like a glittery um, blush. However, it gives your skin a nice little soft glow. So it's somewhere in between a blush and a highlighter, but it's definitely more on the blush side. I think if you are someone who doesn't want to fuss around with a blush and a highlighter, I think these types of products could be for you. If you have more dry skin, more mature skin, and you are looking to have more of a luminous, um, dewy skin, I think you might really enjoy this one. This one is like a bit of a bold color, but there's one called um, Yacht Life that looks like more of a soft pink. I haven't tried that one, but I can only assume it, it would have the same finish, but I just love that it gives a nice little color and also just like that nice little dewiness. It's very pretty. So that's what it looks like with Ridic as blush on both sides. It just looks like nice, it looks like a nice flush, a nice little dewiness here on the cheek. It's beautiful. I really, really like this blush stick. And again, it's the same creamy texture as the contour that I used, the mocha. So it just blends very easily. Like I find sometimes, I think it must be hard sometimes to find the right cream uh, formula, especially in a stick, because sometimes they're a bit hard to blend. But this one just blends out like a dream, both the matte one and the shimmer one as well. I do want to talk about two other Fenty Beauty products that I have tried in the past, but unfortunately I don't have with me here now. I have tried the Pro Filter Instant uh, Retouch Primer. This, the full size one, retails at 42 Canadian plus tax, and the mini retails at 21 Canadian plus tax. So I tried a luxury sample of this from Sephora a few months ago, and I'm a really big fan of this primer because it is a primer for when you want your foundation to stay on your skin for a very long time. It feels like a regular primer. There's no scent, there's no color. It just, you know, feels like a little product you rub on your face, but it just feels like, a primer that just helps with the longevity of your foundation. It's a, not a primer to add radiance or luminosity or dewiness to your skin. It won't do that, but I feel I feel like it like kind of grips to the foundation, whatever foundation you're wearing, and helps it last longer. Um, I don't think that it's a primer for me in the winter time. I don't think it's something that I really need, but now that it's summer, it's getting warm out, it's gonna be hot and sweaty. I think this is a good found, or a good primer for that sort of uh, season because when it's hotter out, we tend to sweat more and our makeup tends to run all over the place. But with this sort of primer, it definitely just helps lock it in place. I didn't really notice any like filling, retouching kind of stuff like that you know like I, I didn't notice it filling any fine lines or anything like that but it definitely just helped whatever foundation i wore last longer so i think for this time of year it's a good uh, primer and i also got a few samples of the pro filter soft matte longwear foundation now this foundation has i don't know how many shades maybe 50 yeah there are 50 shades to choose from from this foundation so I don't think it matters what color of the rainbow you are, you can find a foundation in this shade range. However, I think this is the one Fenty Beauty product that I don't really love, and that's because I have dehydrated skin. So most complexion products, I gravitate towards items that are made for a drier skin because I want to look radiant and dewy and luminous. I don't want to look matte ever. This foundation is just way too matte for me. In the Fenty Beauty Matte Foundation, I am in the shade 220. The shade range, like the shade match was perfect, obviously. However, um, it was just too matte for me. Like I noticed right away that it's set in these smile lines. Like for me, that's like the test that I do with foundation. If I can notice it setting in my smile lines, I know that it's not that great. And unfortunately, this is just not a foundation for my skin type. I really wish they would make this foundation, but for drier or more mature skins, because I don't understand why they have such an inclusive shade range, but only for oily skin. I, that doesn't seem that inclusive to me. It seems like making foundation for people with drier skin or more mature skin would also be something inclusive. But yeah, I just wish that the foundation was made for drier skin. Like the shade range was good and the shade match was excellent, but just 
again for my skin type it didn't work um maybe for this uh, time of year this season it would be okay but i i don't want to buy a full bottle of foundation to use for four months of the year like i live in canada that's not going to work for me maybe if i was like in like southern california or like tropical paradise i would buy this foundation but it's just not for me okay so moving on to two other items one of the items that i picked up recently is something that is a new release for fenty beauty these are the poutsicle juicy stain lipstick i think it's a play on popsicle because the packaging and all the colors are very bright bold slightly neon colors and these retail at 27 canadian plus tax i have the shade called hot blooded which is beautiful i will show you in a second but i kind of wish that i purchased the shade blazing orange because you guys know that i love like an orange color anyway let me just show you guys how this wears it has a really nice soft vanilla scent So as you can see, the texture is very creamy and very smooth. It is a true red, classic red lipstick. I do love a classic red, but I love a bit more warmer, and especially for the warmer months, I think the blazing orange would be fun, I'm just saying. But these are very comfortable to wear. They're very hydrating, and they do have a stain effect. Like the color lasts a very long time like the creaminess will evaporate at some point but your lips do look like they're stained so this is a good item if you have long days if you can't really touch up too often this lipstick just like stays in place one thing that i do have to mention though is because i know that most of my audience is a bit more mature it's funny because i feel like a lot of youtubers have very young audiences but most of my audience they're in their 30s 40s 50s 60s plus and i know that something that happens sometimes with uh, more mature skin is around your lips you can get little fine lines around here and i think this is a lipstick that you might want to wear a lip liner with because it is very creamy it does move around a little bit so if you are someone who has little lines around your lips you're gonna have to use a lip liner to kind of seal it in place because i think i could imagine this lipstick running a little bit not like crazy but i, I think this has the potential to do so that being said it's still a beautiful lip color and i really like the lip staining effect that i just kind of like stains your lips for all day i really like that so let's move on to another lip product so last but not least we have the gloss bomb this is the universal lip gloss or lip luminizer these ones retail at 24 uh, canadian plus tax this is the original shade it's called fenty glow and again it has the same beautiful honeycomb packaging as the matchsticks and i guess like the Fenty Poutsicles kind of have the same uh, honeycomb packaging as well. A little bit different, just the packaging itself is very different, but still with the honeycomb theme. So as I mentioned, the Fenty Glow is the original shade. They came out with a more cool toned one called Diamond Milk, which personally did not interest me whatsoever because it looked way too white. It looked, I don't know, for me it wasn't my taste, but they do have another one out that looks really nice. It's called Fussy, which is a shimmering pink. Um, but this one here, the Fenty Glow, is described as a shimmering rose nude. And I have to say, I love this lip gloss. Let me just show you guys right now, like a little demo. First of all, the scent is amazing. It smells like, it smells the same way that like Skittles taste. It smells fruity and delicious and wonderful. And the applicator is very big. You get a lot of product on the applicator because we all know sometimes when we apply lip gloss we have to like dig in and like scoop around to get the product but this you just take it out once and you have a lot of product on the brush so this is the fenty gloss balm if you are a fan of nudie pink nudie lip glosses you're gonna love this it's so fantastic the smell is amazing it doesn't like last forever when you wear it on your lips it kind of like goes away but it smells fantastic the texture is really nice it's that really good balance between a sticky and slick foundation it doesn't feel like glue but it also doesn't feel like slick that's going to just like slide off your lips it really it feels fantastic and the color is beautiful this really is a universally flattering lip color i think anyone could wear this you could wear this with a lip liner you could wear it on top of another nude lipstick it's really easy i think this is like um the type of product 
that you can just throw in your purse and just keep like just take out and just like throw it on really fast without even looking in the mirror like you can just like wear this on the go it looks beautiful it has like a little hint of like peachy nude as you can see it's kind of like tinting my lip color a little bit it's not just like a transparent gloss it's it's really nice like this i totally get what the fuss is about honestly with the whole line like the whole fenty beauty line that i've tried out so far i get what the fuss is about these are really great products and i think that they are moderately priced obviously 24 dollars for a lip gloss it's definitely much cheaper than chanel but more expensive than drugstore so it is kind of like the in between and i really like what rihanna has done you know for the longest time companies have always been saying that they can't do um, very inclusive shade ranges because it's not profitable for them but then rihanna came around and proved them all wrong so with the exception of the foundation i love all these products they are reasonably priced they have a nice scent the packaging is nice, they wear well, they blend well, they last throughout the day. They're just really good products and I totally get what the fuss is about. If you have dry or mature skin, you really should test out these blushes. Again, this shade is a little bit intense, but there are other shades to choose from. I just think they give you the nicest color with a bit of radiance and glow i think you will love it the lip gloss is fantastic um the lipstick is a really nice color and they stain the lips someone's car is like honking i don't know if you guys can hear it i'm not sure anyway and also um the contour sticks well i'm using a contour color but again it can be a concealer it can be a foundation um they're just really nice and they are just so creamy and they blend so easily like these are very user-friendly i would say this whole line is very user-friendly you don't have to be a pro to be able to apply these it doesn't take much to blend them out again i'm a huge fan so yeah that about does it for my video on fenty beauty obviously i did not pick up every single item because uh rihanna has Put out a lot of releases so i can't really keep up with all the new releases but these are just items that i had been eyeing for a long time and finally decided to pick them up and i'm really happy that i did so yeah let me know down in the comments what you guys think of today's video let me know what you think of fenty beauty do you own any of rihanna's makeup products let me know down in the comments i always love to hear from you guys so i think that's all i have for you guys for today so thank you so much for stopping by i hope you guys have a wonderful day and i'll see you guys next time bye